right here I've got a special delivery from Timu. Try just even opening the button. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is us on our way with our new trailer. Do you not mind that he's using a bug brush on your car? I was thinking it's like everyone's trying to write me off today. Just blaming everyone left, right, and centre. Must be Jordan, must be Josh, maybe Ethan. How are you? Feeling like the boss. Thanks so much for calling. It's really perked up my day. Can't find the key. If we can't find it, we can't take it to MT. Jenny, how do you feel about my language? They've all pulled out to park on the road just to stop us from parking on the road. So what would be the difference? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today you join me in the farm office. It's Monday morning and it's gonna be quite an exciting one because right here I've got a special delivery from Timu. Timu have very kindly sponsored this video. If you haven't heard of Timu, it's an online marketplace. It's free delivery on absolutely everything. It's crazy low prices, free returns within 90 days. They have a really great app that makes it smoother to make your purchases, as well as giving you even more discount, especially if you use our code, which is DEAL2423, or click the link in the description below. I'm really looking forward to opening this stuff up, having a look at what we've got, and finding out if it is actually as good as I'm hoping it's gonna be. Right, this was a request from Jordan, I think. Jordan said, could he get some lights for helping him clean in cars? It was a quite a fancy looking box really. It's got a clip on it, so you can attach it to a bag or a rucksack or something. Oh, that is surprisingly bright. That would blind me. Quite impressed with that. Hopefully Jordan will like that. And how much were these, Toby? It was a pack of four. Uh, seven pounds. Seven pounds 99. Two pounds each. Absolute bargain. Ah, I bought myself an iPad stand. Sorted. You can angle it however you want. It's not the nicest of quality thing in the world, but for what we spent, I don't think it's too bad. How much was this one, Toby? £1.99. How they make something and ship it across the world for £1.99, I have no idea. Toby ordered miscellaneous key rings. You may well have seen these before. The gear shifter gated manual key ring. That's quite cool. I think that came as one red and one black. So we got two of those. How much were they? Two pounds and nine pence. So just over a pound each. I'm quite excited about this one. This is, you must have seen the info commercials on these. The will fit anything socket. It's a quite heavy item. It seems quite nice. I expected these to be kind of splaying around all over. How much was the uh, kind of all-purpose socket? Three pounds forty-nine. Can you imagine if it actually does do seven to nineteen mil? Little gift for Jordan now. I got him some valeting brushes. Two pounds and three pence. That these cost delivered to your door. Oh, I remember this. This is a prank shock key thing which I'm quite nervous to try now. Uh, it looks like an Audi key, obviously, but it's got an electric shock in it, so... Oh! That's actually quite strong. I'm, I'm impressed with that. We'll try and get some people at work with this. Oh! It's surprisingly strong, isn't it? £2.49. Bargain for a prank. Especially if you work in the car trade and you want to get some people that you work with. This, I remember, because it's probably my favourite item that's going to be in this haul of stuff, about 15 pounds? Yeah, 14.99. 14.99. Oh, how about that? Can you still see me? Has that blinded it out? I'm dead chuffed with that. It's actually got a couple of holes in there to uh, kind of drill it on the wall as well. So I could screw that there, tuck the cables down the uh, racking when I'm doing a podcast. That is probably my favorite item. So there we have it. That was everything that we got from Timu. Thanks to Timu, you can get up to hundred pounds worth of coupons. Make sure you download the app. You can use our code DEAL2423 or follow the link in the description and take you to the app. Follow that and you will get a load of discounts. On with the rest of the week. Timu video done. I gotta try and grab these horses because they are not meant to be in together. And Mark tells me 
that Rocky, the brown and white one, Sophie's sweetheart, the stake of the electric fence, had it in his mouth and ripped it out. So he is the culprit. Now we've got to try and get uh, Maple over here. Fun. Come on then, Maple. Come on, Maple. Come on, girl. Good girl. You're a bit scat. Hey, don't try and bite me, you bugger. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't try and bite me. Come on. This way. Go on. is finishing up our gates for our track from the other end of the farm. Yeah, I guess so. Scrape it up into the corner there, maybe. Yeah. Who wants gifts from the bag of Timu? Anyone for a... It's a manual gated thingy or a turbo key ring. Here's one for you, look. A pair of horns. Apparently Ethan wanted them for his car, but he's gone now, so... These I think were ordered for Jordan. But if you want one as a seatbelt alarm disabler type yeah, thing... I'm waiting to carry it out. Oh. <laughs> the red light didn't come on. I got one for you, sir. Mini rechargeable cob light. Oh, lovely. Anyone for a bin for there? Dan, do you want a bin for your... Uh... Dan, have you got epilepsy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here's one for you, Dan. I thought I'd try a replacement Audi key off of... Try just even opening the button. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a up, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you've got, you, you haven't got your finger on the back. Yeah. Or on the side. Yeah, yeah it definitely got... It's dead inside. Have you just killed it off? I don't know. It's just something to press the button. Oh, I can feel a little bit. It's not, it's not massive. No, no, it's almost like it's shorted out or something. Now give it a go. <laughs> oh, it's just too hard. He's, he's, dead. he's, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. Do it in your other hand or something. Put your finger on the, on the back. It is on the back. We're I know on the, bit, on the bit that's... What, that? No, there's a bit that says on the back that says shot. All right, well, don't use up all the batteries on your dead side. Ah, there you go. You have to hold it there. I'll do it there. Ah. That's... that's oh, it's probably because you've got callous skin. Yeah, so it's in, <laughs> you've got an insulator on your thumb. Oh, yeah, if you do it on that bit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see who else we can get. Have you ever seen a key that cheap before? Like, try and flip the, flip the button out. Uh, is it one of those shocker ones, is it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> it wasn't bored yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Everyone else fell for it. <laughs> uh, I felt it, I thought. Yeah. yeah, no, it's too light, isn't it? Oh, I know, I've got something I need you to test out, Steph. The fits everything. Oh, yeah, they're great, they are. Especially when they, <laughs> oh. especially when they just snap. Easy. Did you get it? Easy, USB. Uh, yeah, well, it didn't work on him because he, he's got calloused fingertips. <laughs> it, was, it insulated his finger. There we go. I'm shot. You're so hard. What that, The gift for you from Timu. A little, little cob light thingy. Where's Jordan and Alani? It comes with a remote so you can change colours and flash it and probe it. I mean, um, strobe it. 5 to 12 volts. We've got a lot more tyre pepperami things as well. Very good. These ones that have been writing a rave about this year. Are they? They got the, It's got a little stand. It's got a magnet that works. Oh no way! I always <laughs> wanted to have gone on one of those. Not the finger puzzle, but I always wanted to have gone on one of those. Sockets. But it actually feels better quality than I was expecting. Ooh, it's <laughs> that, that, Toby would crop it in that. Ooh, <laughs> matron. Right, end of day Monday. What a Monday it's been. That big Timu haul this morning. 
Toby's been editing away. He's finished up the BMW 1 Series video that will be going out tomorrow on Tuesday. I need to watch that through tonight. Hopefully it's all okay. Then I will get that uploaded overnight tonight. I'm headed off in the van now to go to my accountant who lives in a little village 10-15 minutes away from where I live to drop off paperwork and everything. She's going to get all the uh, accounting and everything done for a nice big fat bill. Then I'm heading back to the farm, give the ponies some hay. The battery is about to die on my camera. So I will sign off there and I will see you tomorrow morning for Tuesday. It's the same, well, it's the same thing, but it's, um, they've got a tent on it. Mm. But for what reason? Nicer cars. Lambo's in there. Right, so that is us on our way with our new trailer. I'm trying to lose my camera. You probably couldn't hear any of that because it was out in the wind. But we bought the trailer. I tried to do my, like, Richard Rawlins negotiating of like how much is this two grand trailer then he, he didn't have it i did get 95 pounds off which to be fair is about all i ever knock off a car so and it was cheap anyway so 2600 for that trailer josh is going to give it a whirl today so yeah it seems uh he got a bargain to be honest the guy was an interesting guy he had this massive like rock crawler thing in his workshop which i don't know do you get any pictures of it or anything i didn't get any pictures no, okay. it, was, really it cool. was like a custom built rock crawler with a um, volvo t5 engine in it it had like the man the um automatic gear shifter in the roof and tires as tall as me it was quite cool Real but uh, he, he spent a lot of time talking to us about it he's a really interesting guy um, a, a pair of guys actually and um yeah so that was cool but i didn't get any footage because uh, i didn't want to just be rude and presumptuous and kind of show everyone where his very expensive custom thing was so we're heading back to the farm now uh, josh is going off to do a job in gloucester to do a car sport for more do you know what car it is uh, uh it's in like 500 quid so oh, 500 quid. Um, so it's a Audi TT yes. Quattro, the 225. So we didn't. Screw. Mm, Brakes work well. Yeah. He's got an even bigger trailer. Actually, no, it's not. No, you've got a puny little trailer. I've never seen a little trailer like that on a tractor before, actually. Not a proper one like this. Um, yeah, so we've gone off to get that, and I forgot we were buying that really. We sort of, we're given 500 quid for it, because it's been off the road for a few years. It might clean up and be all right, but on the other side, we thought it might be, make a good track car, because I wouldn't mind a, something a bit quicker for the track days. But we will see. Collect a part from Porsche for the Cayman, just an air conditioning pipe. Apparently, Jason's got someone who's very keen on that, so that'd be nice if we can get that sold really quickly. Toby will be down the farm editing. I'm gonna grab the car from there, head to work, see what's going on. I'll see you there. Left, right, yeah, one's not so great. It is working, but yeah. Put your um, side lights on. Yeah, so the left one's just a bit dimmer. Yeah. Three zip ties. Yes, then. Sweet. Keep forgetting to get videos of transport for you guys. I know it's probably worth putting in the weekly. So here is today's job with our newest purchase, the new trailer. Um, she's a big gal. She's. This is an over wheel rather than between the two wheels. It's the same overall width as the last trailer, but it's no longer, um, the bed's no longer between the, the wheels, which means she's fat. Um, and we can take vans and stuff now because uh, I have had a few job requests for stuff like transit customs and stuff, and they just don't fit on our normal trailer. And obviously they're too heavy to go on the back of that. So um, yeah, new trailer. Do you not mind that he's using a bug brush on your car? I was thinking that. He's doing it on the lower level. But yeah, why are you using a bug brush? Yeah, he didn't scream, that's what I was hoping for. How can you forget that? Well, it must have been some... He is a minter's car, isn't he? <laughs> he's a bit disappointed that you didn't put that, like, two inches thing in. Yeah, in you need a Jordan on that clip. Huh? 
the, you were videoing Dan's um, cube, you know, the ride height's like two inches up. Two inches is massive. Okay, that's end of day, uh, Tuesday, well, end of work day. I'm heading down the farm, I'm gonna do some editing down there. I don't know if I would have spoken about this on here earlier. Uh, Josh has been up to Gloucester to pick up a Quattro TT Mark I that is the 225, so it's the BAM engine or whatever. But either way, we paid 500 quid for it. Uh, we might go to fix it up, sell it, or we might decide we'll keep it as a trap car or something, because I wouldn't mind something that had a bit more tunability for a bit more power for the track, but we'll see. Obviously Josh got his new trailer earlier, or I bought my new trailer earlier that Josh uses, and Steph was off the day, so Adrian was in the workshop on his own, just beavering away. I think Jason's got someone potentially on the hook for the Cayman already, so that's good news. Um, I've got a seat in the back of here, which is for a Mercedes E-Class, an E350, that we've sold to someone. Um, it's yet to go out. They wanted us to get a little seat repair done because it had a little crack on the bolster. So I've taken that out and Josh is going to come get that from the farm in a bit, put it in the back of the Navara. He's going to take that down to Wellington tomorrow to the upholstery guy because he's also doing a, I think it's a car sport for more collection in Wellington tomorrow. So he's really there, all works out perfectly. And then I think he's off doing a, a job for Hutton's collecting a Porsche or dropping off a Porsche or something along those lines. I think we've got Macaulay coming in tomorrow, who is obviously the new driver. He's not starting full time for another 14 days. So the 16th he starts, although that's not right, is it? So not quite that long because the date on my watch is wrong. Anyway, he's starting in about a couple of weeks time. I'm gonna get him to do at least one trip to Weebiney Car Trade to get rid of a Lexus that I got that's just kicking around. I've probably talked about it on the vlogs before. Uh, and I might get him to scrap, for example, like the, the pink Daihatsu thing. I can't even remember what it's called now. I can't remember what, what model it is, Daihatsu. I want to say Daih Daihatsu Bacanto, but that's clearly not it. I don't know. Um, whatever that pink thing is that Dan had for the kind of Wales road trip that uh, lost its sump plug and whatever and has now failed its MOT and needs welding and all that sort of stuff. But we couldn't sell it for five, six, seven hundred quid anyway, even when it had MOT and was gonna have MOT. So there's no sense spending money on fixing it up. Let's just take it, go and get a couple hundred quid for scrap and just get rid of it, clear the space. Yeah, car losses and have space for decent stock to be kind of in reserve at the farm. I can't think what else is out there that wants to go. Oh, um, the Honda Accord that was tappy or knocky, it was making a knocking noise. So we put a timing chain kit on it, thinking that's what it was. And it did get rid of the knock, but it still got a tapping noise. So now it's like, again, just not worth spending more time on it. It was only like five, 600 quid in the first place or whatever it was. Now I spent maybe a hundred quid on a timing belt kit and some labor and the costs have gone up. Again, sometimes it's worth trying to do a little fix. But if I'm gonna be throwing good money after bad, cut my losses. We've got Jason there, he's a selling machine. Uh, I'm stocking up all the time. I've got the MOT to send it to get on with. The best thing I can do for everyone is get rid of the crap, the headaches, get rid of the headache cars and clear them and get good stock in their place if you want to sell. In fact, my friend David of The Lovely Car Company, and he's got a podcast called The Car Dealer Pro Podcast, has just started doing YouTube videos. I will try and remember to put a link in here to his first ever video, which actually is really enjoyable. And the guy's gonna do better than me. He's more of a natural at it than I am, and he's better looking, but we won't hold that against him. Um, yeah, he was talking about, you know, cars that are just kind of crippled and needing to get rid of them. Um, just getting rid of them as soon as you can and it is very solid advice, so uh, that is that is the plan. Anyway, I will see you down the farm and we'll check out this TT. It's about seven o'clock now, so much darker, but I've just realized I didn't come out and show you the uh, TT, so here it is. I don't really like these that much, but I do in silver. I don't know why silver is the color for me, but yeah, 500 quid. Yes, it has some blemishes. That would need painting. It's been off the road for a good three years. Uh, quite a few things in this door, but don't manage to take them out for 40 quid. It is a manual as well. So this is the one you want for a track car. It's not in bad shape at all. Good clean. This is where the dilemma comes in. Jason organized this deal. Let me turn around. Jason organized that deal and he'll be wanting it for sales, which is fair enough. I don't really want to be selling O2 play cars, but 
and I'll be having my eye on it for a track car, but we'll get it in the workshop. We need to re kind of recommission it. I don't think the brakes are the greatest at the moment. Probably wouldn't be if it hadn't been used for three years, corrosion on them and whatever. So yeah, but it's, I'm impressed with that, actually. I think that looks whatever. I suppose I ought to do a video on that with Toby. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It might have, to be fair, it might have already come out by the time you've watched this. So uh, if it has, I'll put a link here. If it hasn't, keep your eyes peeled. Anyway, that's it for Tuesday. I can't believe it's only Tuesday. It feels like it's been a longer week already. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Time you change thing. How you reckon? Yeah. But it started, and it literally started for all of like two seconds. It's just all like rattly, chainy noise. It used to start and would rev, so it might have skipped. Yeah, I, I don't mean like time and like, Yeah, that's why I think like, like a skip. Because uh, I, don't, I don't, it won't let me rev, and I don't obviously want to free rev it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just strange that he was driving it. He said it was smoky, and then yeah. it, oh. went, it went into like a big cloud of smoke. I mean, it could be, I don't know. He shouldn't have yeah. driven it. It may sound right because it's not been started in ages. That could be, so it might not have top end oil in it. So we'll let them look at it anyway, that's what yeah, it's yeah. here it's for. It's gonna look lost up there. <laughs> yeah, I like it, mate. Nice one, safe. Nice size. What is it? It's massive. Yeah. How wide it is. I think it's either so. Right. Hopefully, you should be able to find the uh, calendar now, Steph. And there's this morning's job, a buyback of the Peugeot Partner from a very lovely customer who purchased this for the use of using that little crane in the back to pop his dog into the back. Sadly, his, uh, his dog passed away recently, so he um, doesn't have any use, use for the vehicle anymore, but uh, we were happy happy to buy it back. It's still uh, in lovely condition. It looks like it's not, it's not been driven since it left the forecourt by the looks of it. So a uh, good little purchase for us. And uh, now I'm off to Slough. It's like everyone's trying to write me off today. Woman nearly reversed into me on the forecourt. Someone's just pulling out of a junction there, just like as if other traffic doesn't exist. Anyway, it is end of day Wednesday and I'm heading home in the Audi S1. I haven't filmed much today. Uh, I've been quite busy just trying to get my head down, getting shifting metal at Cody UK uh, launched. Not launched, built. So I can launch it. By this time it should be launched. You can buy nice things like our BM air fresheners. Uh, I'm still dying of man flu, but uh, I think I'll survive. Just about, if I don't get written off by other road users. Thought I'd take this little S1 home, seeing as I don't have to bring Bash in tomorrow, so it shouldn't get too dirty. I haven't driven it yet, so I'm interested to see how it drives. Put it into dynamic mode. Like I say, I haven't filmed much today, so let me give you a little rundown of what has happened from my memory. I've been building the website, decided that as we have a load of next base uh, dash cameras and things like that in stock for when Jordan was gonna do his kind of mobile valeting slash media install stuff, that I'll put those on the website as well. So by the time this video is out, you will be able to, um, talking of dash cameras, there's the one in this fitting in this car and it's just done something weird then I think it thought I had a crash or something. I didn't, it's just bumpy Somerset roads. So anyway, I have listed our next base dash cameras on the website. So I've tried to price them pretty keenly. So if you're in the market for a dash camera, check out the website, check out the shop, and there is a section for dash camera deals. Dan has bought in a little Nissan Micra on 470 miles. It's a 65 plate. So eight years old, but only has 470 miles. And in fact, our garage did the first ever service on it at about 400 miles. 
God knows how many years ago. So we'll probably try and make a video out of that. That's just an interesting car, isn't it? Because it's such low mileage. It'd be like factory fresh, other than I think body work. So that's gonna need to see James maybe, or Charlie for some uh, body work. Even better though, we bought back a Peugeot partner from a subscriber. It's a car that we originally bought through Cars Bought For More. We sold to a subscriber. He no longer had the need for this vehicle because it had a hoist in the back to lift it in. Um, he no longer needed it. So he asked if we wanted to buy it back. So we bought it back. It's rolled onto our forecourt kind of late morning. Then we had another customer come in who wanted us to check her tire pressures, so she was in the market for such a vehicle. Jason took her out, took her for a test drive in it. It was the first auto she's ever driven, but that is the sort of thing she wanted, and she's bought it. So within an hour, that car has come back into us, via cars bought for more again, and we've sold it again. What a result that is. McCauley was in today, so I got him to run some stuff around. He picked up a Lexus for me, the one that I've been talking about, the one I take to Wee Bunny Car. I'd left the charger on it over the weekend, but hadn't done enough to actually put a charge in. So we put a new battery in it, and now fires up fine. So I think we're gonna take that to Wee Bunny Car Trade tomorrow. But he also picked up from the farm the Mini Clubman 1.6 diesel, I think it is, that our ex-employee Romas was driving back from Bristol when we bought it from an auction. And it was smoking quite badly, but he thought he'd just carry on driving it, because, you know, why not? Uh, until it puffed into a great cloud of smoke. Apparently, he pulled over to the side of the road and decided that that was the point, that they would swap it over with the other car that was on the vehicle transporter, rather than having done that before to not drive the smoky car. I think the turbo is probably gone. But anyway, Macaulay picked that up today from the farm, brought it back so that it was kicking around, so that there was work around for the mechanics to do should they get spare time, which they did. Things like, Steph checked it out, seems like it does need a turbo. So we'll look into that tomorrow, see if we can't get one of those ordered. Hopefully that's another car that we can get sold. And the red C-Class C220 that you might have seen in previous videos, that sold this morning. We had a customer phone up yesterday afternoon, I spoke to him, said he was really keen, he already had his finance lined up. Uh, if he came in and was happy with the car, could he take it? So he's come in, checked it out. Uh, while he was hanging around, waiting for all the stuff to go through, we put it through the workshop, did a PDI, uh, it had a bit of a broke it had a broken headlight tab so the guys fixed that he's going to come back in february anyway because that's when the mt runs out he can have his mt and service done then on the house but um he wanted to take it away because he desperately needed it so that was another deal done for the day another bonus so if this month feels like it's definitely going better than last month we do have a bit more stock in giving us better chances but whatever it is i'm happy the only other thing is I did send another email to my solicitors to find out if they'd had any news on our new industrial units, when we would be able to get those. Got an email back to say my sister's still on holiday, but the person who's acting in her behalf in the meantime hasn't heard anything from the landlord's solicitors. I don't know what it is with solicitors. Why do they take so long to do everything? Same with buying a house or anything like that. Uh, it seems to take weeks to send a recorded letter. Anyway, I guess you can just assume that when solicitors involved, it probably won't be happening all that quickly. So, you know, I can put that to the back of my mind for a little while and concentrate on other things. This thing keeps clicking, even if I accelerate hard. It's when you go over a pothole, it's like it's taking a photograph. I don't know what this system is, but I'm going to take the SD card out. Hopefully we can get some footage from it. This S1 definitely feels pretty pokey, though. I haven't really had the chance to uh, give it any beans because I've been talking all the way back. But tomorrow morning... On the way into work, we will be getting our foot down and testing this thing out. So I'll leave it there. I'll see you in the morning when I'm getting my foot down and we're testing this thing out. Good morning, it's Thursday. I'm very irritated there was a dash camera in this car. And I took the SD card out to get some footage off of it, which you probably would have seen by now with some idiot drivers. And I dropped it on the carpet in my little home office. Oh yeah, and it just vanished. I've searched everywhere. The last thing I want to be doing on a Thursday morning is looking for a stupid little SD card. I couldn't find it, I've just given up, it was irritating. I've got more at work. But now this thing won't shut up. And it's got like the um Please insert a SD card. The USB C connection is like literally bolted in, so now I'm gonna to have to go and find a tool to undo it. I really can't be bothered with this, I'm still full of cold. It's first thing in the morning, it's like eight o'clock, I just Please insert uh, the SD card. Just shut up! S thing, how'd you turn it off? Please insert the SD card. Please insert the SD card.
card. No, I haven't got an SD card, so shut up. Please insert a SD card. This is like that scene out of bloody Friends where they can't stop the air. Please insert smoke the SD alarm card. from going off. Just shut up. I'm holding this to see if it'll turn off. Please insert a SD card. No, I don't want to. I don't have an SD card. Why does all this stuff happen to me? I, I just thought I'd try out, see what that camera looked like. I completely lose the SD card. It's like, literally dropped it right in my feet and it's gone. Right. Now it's gonna have a battery in it. <laughs> so I just broke it off, basically. It will still work, but, oh look. It'll unscrew now. Everyone who watches these vlogs and says I have the patience of a saint for all the things that happen. I don't. Where's our drive select? Let's make sure we're we're in dynamic mode. That's quite sprightly. around the corners as you expect being four-wheel drive so yeah this is about 240 brake horsepower standard I think and people tune these to like four five hundred horsepower or something ridiculous that would be that would be crazy one of these with uh, you know 350 brake horsepower so it would be I like it a lot so plan for today I need to get a haircut if I can I feel like I'm inflicting a nasty cold on someone if I go and get one, but maybe I wear a mask or something. I want to finish up some of my shiftingmetal.co.uk website building. Might film a video with Toby on that 470 mile Nissan Micra that we've just bought. We've got a couple of filing cabinets turning up. We're going to change our filing system for cars that are in stock. Currently we've got like a roller cabinet and we keep them in individual boxes so that you can kind of read off the front of what they are. But we are running out of space as we're trying to put more stock on the forecourt. Um, we're just not gonna have enough space to be able to do it that way. So we've gone for, or I've gone for two, three drawer filing cabinets. We could put each car in its own plastic folder with all the relevant information on the front. Put them alphabetically in that filing cabinet, cabinets, and they'll be a little bit lower as well so we can get our printer back up there, give ourselves a bit of space. Should work out for the better, hopefully. So they'll be arriving today at some point, so we'll get that sorted. And I'm gonna to speak to our landlady, Jenny, who has Jenny's sewing services. She will sew anything for anyone, kind of take up dresses and things like that. Well, I've got a load of patches that need to be sewn onto caps so that we can put them on the Shifting Metal website. So she's gonna have a go at doing that for me today. The people that I bought them from said, oh, well, we won't stitch them on, we'll send them, and you can just super glue them on. That's the best way to go. And I tried that one of them, and I just, I just felt, I don't feel like that's gonna be very good. I feel like someone's gonna just stick it in the washing machine, it's gonna fall off, and it just won't be very good. And super glued one on, and it just peels off, basically. It's just rubbish. I'm gonna get Jenny to sew them on properly, so hopefully, by the end of the day, I'll be able to show you those. And I'm not sure what else. What I do know is, thanks to this cold, I am absolutely gasping for a cup of tea, a nice hot drink. So let's get that sorted, get on with the day. Okay, so I'm heading out to the farm because Sophie can't find a key for the Corsa, the 200 pound Corsa that we bought in part exchange or something. I can't remember exactly now. We did a video on it. Uh, she's got someone who wants to buy that. It's actually booked in for an MOT tomorrow because it's running out, but they're happy to take it as is. But she cannot find the key. She's blaming everyone left, right and centre. Must be Jordan, must be Josh, maybe Ethan. Um, I'm pretty sure it's down the farm somewhere. She just can't find it. So I'll drive all the way down there, try and find it for her. Um, and then go and get a haircut, hopefully. Well, I do feel bad because I'm still very full of cold. Although I have got myself some uh, airwaves to try and clear things out. So sorry, that would have been horrible. It's not much more pleasant for me, to be honest. I'll see you down the farm. Hopefully it's victory and we find the key. What on earth have you got there? A dummy. I'm filling it with rocks. You're the dummy. Darling, I'm starting to doubt whether you're capable of running Sophie's bangers, seeing as you've lost this key. 
Your employees have lost the, lost the key, nothing to do with me. Uh, I've looked everywhere, it's not where the key should be. I've most. looked everywhere. So I am capable, other people aren't capable. Mm, always me, so. always the way, isn't it? It's happened before, <coughs> so yeah, it is. Never your fault. They've them everywhere. Oh, unlike, like you don't leave keys around all over the place. Like this key, for example, which has got a spanner on it because you can't keep hold of it. I wouldn't leave car keys all over the place. Not that. Excuse me, I'll do my own investigations. Thank you. I'm going over. Do you want me to look, or do you want to? Uh, do you need my help or not? Yes, I need your help. Please. Uh, okay, bye. Be quiet. What's that, darling? Say that again. What was that? Did you try? Did you, did you just wave at me? Yeah. Wait, with yeah. one finger. Yeah. What a sweetheart. I am. Right here is the corset in question. Which okay is unlocked. Oh look, it's got cherry Pepsi in it, which would probably implicate me in this um, because I am addicted to Pepsi Max. Okay, so next location, not looking good so far. Hmm. To work. Love you lots. Love you. Bye. Bye. One week later. Who had the uh, Corsa key in the end, Jordan? <laughs> right, as I said, I'm going to try and get a haircut now. Um, <clears throat> clear my throat a little bit before I go in. But hopefully, in a matter of seconds, I will have a fresh trim. Like one, two, just like that. There we are. Looking a bit neater, I guess. Right, let's head back. Just had the man on the forecourt of this petrol station where I've parked him across. Hello there, mate, do you want to buy a telly? No thanks. Right, let's get back and see what's happening. The irony that the uh, car that almost ripped me off as I was leaving yesterday is our customer. Look how fancy this one is. How's it going, Steph? Loving it, Jay. Loving it? What have we got on now? I'm going through the motions. Can't do too much to it because I went apart from the Audi by Sam and went for it, so I'm just going to do the floor stuff. I'll put it in the air, new oil because it's antique gas turn up. Is that for an aircon? Yeah, the uh, O ring or something. How are you? Yes. Feeling like the boss? Yeah, no, I, I've given Toby some, some clips of, uh, some of stuff with different things. Of his. Be able to of his frank and beans. I'm just wondering because a thing it tidy up the printer and everything, we can have this cabinet from here back in, and then you can put all your paperwork and print the paper and all that underneath. And those, or just have just one there. So Lee, Lee comes across as very genuine uh, in his business, and he just tells everything it is. But he doesn't need to use any sort of swear language. Like he doesn't use any swear language. Brilliant. He must be an amazing guy. Must be a lot better than oh, he me. Is. Fantastic videos. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Much better than mine, I'm sure. So keep watching his and don't watch mine. That'll be. Well, well they actually are much better than yours. Uh, and I'm glad you said that. So I wasn't going to say it, you know. Right. Brilliant. Thanks so much for calling, especially yeah, anonymous, no, being a bit of a coward, yeah. just wanting to tell me that you think someone else's videos are better than mine and like I'm swearing, etc. Thanks so much for calling. It's really perked up my day. You're a top bloke. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you around. Some time later. Next time you ring, don't forget to make your telephone number available so I can call you any hour of the day. And, um, you know, if I'm concerned about your welfare and whether you might be drinking, I'll, I'll see if I can. You give me your mobile number and I phone you from my mobile number. <laughs> and I may then I can phone you anytime. Yeah, no, that's that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, I'm going to phone you. I can phone you the day before o'clock in the morning because it's sort of work sometimes with MRs, you know. Oh, do you? Wow, brilliant. That'd be amazing. Well, if you're phoning this number, it won't answer because it turns off at five o'clock. So. You carry on, you carry on, having a right old time of it. Right, that's it, heading home, still full of cold. Had to hang on till about six o'clock because we had a chap there fitting a new windscreen to a Mercedes E350 that Jason has taken a deposit on, which is a couple of things we had to sort out. There's a crack in the windscreen, I think, so it's one of those things where he turned up late for the job, so had to stay on. That is done. We've got our new filing cabinets in. Seems like I went a bit overboard. We're ordering two filing cabinets. We only really needed one. That's okay, we will make use of it. We'll go somewhere. Day isn't tomorrow, Friday, so got a couple of cars being picked up by Josh tomorrow. Uh, I think it's only 
I could be wrong, but I think it's only down in Crediton, so Devon, not a million miles away. So we should be back within the day tomorrow. So we'll have a look at those, one of one of which is an EV. Can't remember exactly what the guys are up to in the workshop today. We had a little warranty job on a red Audi A3. They had to put a new rear wiper in it and a little motor on a blower thingy. Uh, so that was sorted out. Uh, can't really think. What else? But they would have been getting some stuff done. Toby's finished episode seven of the BM Weekly, so that was last week's activities. I'm gonna watch that through a little bit later, or at least watch through the bits that he's edited and a little short that he's put together for the intro. So obviously we had our prank Irish caller today wanting to tell me that uh, I swear too much in videos, or there's too much swearing in the videos, or swear language, as he would call it. You shouldn't have that, people don't want it. Maybe they don't, and I'd be curious to hear your comments below. I think, because I'm the one putting all the time and effort into making these videos and I want them to be a genuine portrayal of life in the motor trade, that, you know, some of that sort of language uh, does get used. It's not, you know, I think that's fairly commonplace. It's certainly how I talk. I know it's just some crank who was probably drunk or whatever. It's obviously very sad, but um, that's got to me a bit, to be honest. Maybe just because I'm cold, not cold, because I've got a cold and I'm feeling just a bit flat and low of energy, someone phoning up, constantly phoning up. Um, and again, it's just like this cowardly sort of thing that you get with the internet, isn't it? Phoning up from an anonymous number and trying to be threatening, like I'll phone you at two in the morning or four in the morning because, you know, sometimes I'm up there like, give me your mobile number and I'll like, come on, pal. I don't need that. Apologies if some of the coarse language does upset you when watching these videos. I certainly don't want to upset anyone. I'm just trying to be genuine, be myself, staying within the rules of YouTube. If you think it would really add to the content, then let me know in the comments and I will see what can be done. That's about it. So I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. Good morning, Friday. We are cruising in a little bit late, to be honest. It's about 20 past nine now. Uh, feeling very tired today for some reason. Just past Dan, who's heading off in the Cayman somewhere. Oh, uh, he's probably taken that to MOT. Or maybe it has booked him for MOT, I don't know. So the Corsa that we couldn't find the key for was due to be booked in for MOT today. We can't find the key. If we can't find it, we can't take it to MOT, so we've got an MOT slot. So we may as well do another one of the farm cars, like the Honda Jazz that we took in the other day, that had like a week's worth of MOT left on it. So hopefully Dan hasn't just helped himself to the MOT slot without consulting me first, but we will find out. My old lady looking very angry in her van there because she can't get past the bin wagon. Ah. I've got an auto trader code on my phone, which means Jason must be trying to log into Portal. So I better go in and let him have it. All right, just got in and just checking some emails. The first email of real interest is from a supplier getting some key rings. So it's going to be a little while probably before they arrive. Just some little shifting metal key rings like that. So they will be on the shiftingmetal.co.uk website, which I have to get live kind of today, maybe tomorrow. But I'd need to test out the purchasing thing in case anyone actually wants to buy any stuff off of us. So yeah. I'll probably be quite busy with that today. But uh, quite cool to see stuff like that get made. Let me know in the comments if you'll be wanting one of these bad boys when they uh, become live. Little rubbery key ring thing basically shows support. Got air freshness coming too. So make sure you check out the website. Help us out. Which one? Yeah, I did put a pen my line on it somewhere. Okay. Okay. Stone or nail? Hmm. Get a pair of. Uh, has someone got a pair of needle nose pliers I could borrow very briefly? You reckon it is a stone? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yep, that's a stone. It is a stone. Yeah. So that was. You reckon that's what was causing the tapper? You didn't? I don't know. Do you want to roll forward and I'll see if I see anything else? Yeah. Hopefully that was it then. Yeah. Because he was trying to threaten me with like, oh yeah. Oh, there we go. But it says here, dial 57 immediately after you've hung up on the receiver. An electronic voice will give you the instructions on how to trace the number. 
Once you have three successful traces for the same number, call your service provider's annoyance call bureau to report the number. Or report it to your local police and they'll investigate it. Hi. Hello. Hello. Sir, I'm going to stop you. Sir, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no stop, I'm going to stop you there. You're, ring, you're ringing a business that's got nothing to do with the YouTube channel. You're, 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 no, you're, you're, ring, you're ringing me during my everyday job. So you're now interrupting my everyday job. So I'm asking you, can you please, he's not here. As it's already been explained to you by my colleague. I will not pass the message on. No, you've already spoken to Joe yesterday and you've spoken to my colleague this morning. Yep, no, that's fine. If you wish, you can, you can write an email, you can complain to YouTube. You can do all of those things, but you're, you're, ring, you're, ring, you're ringing us. So I'm asking you now, can you stop ringing? Okay, I'm going to end the conversation. Thank you. All right. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. Um, just had someone on the phone. He was just saying that he's spoken to him. He's apologised profusely, etc. He thinks now has it all tied up and we should get paid, so... Oh, that's great. I don't know whether that would be 60,000 in all in just one hit or what, or, but, you know... Doesn't, doesn't matter. Yeah. If you get a half of it or a third of it, it just keeps it all going. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled, so hopefully that will um, start rolling in. Okay, but I'll see you in a minute, anyway. Alright, okay, no worries, I'll see you when you swing in. Okay, bud. Cheers, bye bye. Jenny, do you mind being on camera? Okay. No. Oh. Hello. Hello, yeah. <laughs> Jenny, how do you feel about my, your, as, as, as an avid watcher of Shifting Metal, yes. my language? Is it too coarse? I would have to say sometimes yes. You think so? <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe I need to work on it. We've had a chap who will not stop phoning us to tell me. So. There's just a few things that you say that I think... Mm, okay. Yes. And I'm, I'm not narrow-minded. No. But I think when you've got a lot of people watching... Fair enough. I think you're probably right. So, just having a look around our Hyundai i30. There is the car in question. I won't show you too much because that would ruin the surprise for the feature video of where we have sorted this car out. But that is looking loads better. He's done a nice job on that. We have still got the service to do. We've got bits and pads all around. I need to find out if it wants a timing chain or timing belt. But we're not going to do that in the last hour of the day on a Friday. Um, the guys are just scratching around for something to do, so they might be able to get a service done, oil change or whatever, or maybe the brakes or whatever, I don't know. But the other thing we also need is boot latch, because that wasn't working, we remember. So uh, James has taped it shut, but need to um, figure out what latch we need and get one ordered to get that fixed. So I might get them to have a look at that quickly. Yeah, currently... Oh, I was just... We can't say sh** or b anymore. <laughs> Yeah, what, because collect. you've upset some Christian Irish guy? Well, can't say yeah. arse. well I've also can't upset, say, uh, not upset Jenny, but I asked Jenny for her opinion. She's like, oh yeah, it is. I do wince at some of the things you say. It's very uh, Joseph and the wee donkey. I think it's mainly f***ing <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, It's my two favourite words, so tricky. Wow, and is this on a break before you? It didn't really feel as, it felt quite... Like... <laughs> and uh, we like to look to Amelia, we'll play the tune. Have a great weekend, Sarah. Bye. You reckon my tyres are alright, do you? Yeah. I don't know why I thought that. I'll replace them. You can see a little bit here, but it's only on the... the sh I wouldn't. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of 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 a Sorted out. Uh, Jason's got at least two cars going today, the GLC and a VW Golf Cabrio. Both cars bought for more.com cars. So that's a bonus. It means about £27,000 coming back into the pot, plus a Mercedes SLK, I think, an older one that we're giving about 1500 quid for. So, be interesting to see that, see what that's like. Toby and I, were going to film a video with a micro that we've also bought, the car's bought for more, that needed a bit of bodywork, etc. But uh, I think we've already sent it off to James at J Repairs, so that's not there to be filmed with. Um, I might just do a little bit of a forecourt walk. It's been a while since I've done a Saturday stock take, so I might go around and just film the forecourt and uh, kind of let everyone know what we've got in stock, you know, the stories behind them stuff like that so um, yeah we will see it didn't really work out with the young lad that we had in for the valeter position 
Uh, he was a nice lad, really enjoyed having him on board, you know, had a really good attitude, he just didn't seem to pick everything up as quickly as we wanted. Yeah, could have hoped for a bit of a better aptitude, just uh, when he didn't have anything to do, he would just kind of loiter rather than coming asking someone what he should do, but um, I'm sure he'd do very well in other roles. That leaves me in a position where I now need to try and hire someone else again. Um, this time we might go with someone we've employed before, but we've got to find out if they're still interested, all that sort of stuff. I didn't really have a chance to do it yesterday. I kind of left some of it in Jordan's hands, which was brave of me. But um, I might have a little try and deal with that today. And you never know, with a bit of luck, we might sell something as well. So we will see. I will see you at the garage. Just to make a point of uh, saying about pettiness with the neighbours and everything the other day, let's just go through here where we might like to park because the garage is just up there. I've got all these cars on the road here, but none on that driveway, none on that driveway, none on that driveway, none on that driveway, but they are all on the road. There's none on that driveway. They've all pulled out to park on the road just to stop us from parking on the road. So what would be the difference? It would be our vehicles versus theirs. I'm really starting to feel what with people phoning me up because they've got my business telephone number to kind of tell me that you know, other people's videos are better than mine, etc. Lovely, what what classy thing to do. And the neighbors causing problems like this, deliberately trying to block anyone from parking on the road, just being petty. I keep getting people in the comments as well saying things like, oh, don't buy a car from Barrow Motors because my friend bought one from there and the clutch went after two weeks and Joe himself said he wouldn't stand on it. That's his that's his words. Like it's lies. That's never happened. It's lies. What is wrong with people? Why are they saying this? You start to feel like the more you try and do and the more you try and give back, more jobs, more whatever to people, like the more people turn against you. So it's a weird thing, isn't it? Uh yeah, very strange. Right, so that is it for Saturday. It's now about half past two, if not quarter to three. Uh, everyone's headed home. Um, Jordan and Macaulay are coming back, I think, to... I think Jordan's plan is to, I don't even know, get his engine out of his 330D. Or maybe he's already taken it out of the 330D and he's gonna put it into this thing. You know, why? I don't know, really. But that's his plan over the weekend. So he'll be heading back here to do that over the weekend. I've told him it's got to be definitely clear by Monday for the mechanics to come in and work. And there is a Burnham on Sea half marathon going on tomorrow, which runs along the road that's literally out here. So that might cause some problems, but apparently it should be done by one o'clock. Jason tells me because Jason's got a couple of viewings going on on a Sunday. Um, so yes, that's it. I've sent Toby off in my old high mileage BMW 320D. He's got to go pick up his girlfriend from London way, I think. Uh, and I thought I'd lend him something nice to take rather than his 1.4 lowered polo. So he's a happy boy. Suits you. Right, which side do you want it on? In the middle or? Uh, in the middle. Uh, press the P on the top of the selector. That's it, Jim Family's gonna think I'm yeah, that's it. Go. <laughs> Alright, Josh. Happy? Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Sent him off in that. And I'm driving home in that horrendous Mercedes SLK that uh, Jason's taken in part exchange against the GLC and the Volkswagen Golf convertible thing. It's pretty bad. I don't think he's quite how bad the paint was before he got it. Luckily, it's one of those deals where, yes, technically on paper, he gave 1,250 quid for it. Um, but, you know, it was more important. We got the, the money was in the sales and that was wrapped up in that. Hopefully we'll get the majority of it back, selling it on to someone else. Don't know. I'll take it down the farm now. Sophie can see it. She can you know, decide what she wants to try and sell it for. It's got a long MOT and all that sort of stuff. I'll drive it back now and just see what happens. I think it's got an engine management light on. I have to plug the diagnosis in and see what's going on with that as well. Um, but I got some down the farm, so we'll check that out. But I won't bore you with that. I will just see you on Monday for a fresh week. Hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you then.